Hey guys, it's Chris. From snakes of massive sizes to ones that look like they're gonna bite you but aren't, join me as I reveal 10 terrifying snakes that are actually really friendly. Number 10. Corn Snakes Arguably, corn snakes are one of the best kinds of pet snakes you can get, as they're famous for being easy to care for, while also being easy to find in certain areas. They're numerous and they can grow to various sizes, including being the size of humans in certain cases. But most times, they have long and thin bodies that won't pose any threat to you. What's more, because of their rather small bodies, they won't need a large space like other species in order to get their exercise and do what they want. And they're also very easy to feed. Many consider the corn snake the perfect first snake to get if you're looking to go and get more and more exotic snakes later on. Given all the options available, that might just be true. Number 9. Milk Snakes Depending on who you talk to, milk snakes are either a snake you don't want to touch or can be incredibly friendly. So which is it? The answer most times is the latter. Despite their sometimes loud colors, which many find beautiful depending on the coloring, milk snakes are most definitely a species of snake that aren't dangerous to humans. Can they bite you? Yes. Will they bite you? Not so much. The big thing to remember about milk snakes, though, is that they're a species that is very active and has strong feelings about humans in that they see them as dangers. But again, they won't bite you, they'll just try and run away. Plus, most milk snakes are so small in size that any attempt at biting you won't be effective even in the slightest. If you're an experienced snake owner, you'll find yourself able to get the milk snakes to calm down and trust you as an owner. If you're a new snake owner, you'll have to work to get them to act like your pet because they are rather active. And now for number 8, but first, do you have a pet snake? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear about them. And be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Number 8. Western Hognose Snake If you were to look up the Western Hognose Snake, one of the first things you'll notice is that it's described as a mildly venomous snake which is usually a major turnoff for people because anything with venom is something that can hurt you, right? Well, yes and no. Yes, venom can be dangerous, but in the case of this snake, not so much. If threatened or perceiving a threat, it may flatten its neck much like a cobra, hiss, and make mock or bluff strikes if harassed, which are strikes made at an intruder but with the snake's mouth closed. Subsequently, even when further harassed, western hognose snakes virtually never bite as a self-defense mechanism, but will instead usually resort to playing dead. So if you're not understanding what's being said here, the western hognose snake is a type of snake that would rather intimidate you with noises and scary gestures than actually harm you with its venom. In fact, as noted, it strikes at you like a missile, not a bite. That's because it likes to save its venom for its prey and not predators. As long as you're careful in how you approach and handle it, the western hognose snake won't be a threat to you, and you might actually enjoy its company. Number 7. Boa Constrictors Boa constrictors are a species of snake that often gets a bad rap because of their name and nature. They're known to squeeze or constrict prey in such a way that it's a gruesome way to die. Thus, people are scared of them because of stories of snakes being able to do this to them, which is true to an extent given the sizes they grow, but it's not a common occurrence in the slightest. In fact, if you look around the world, you'll find that boa constrictors are a popular snake pet. They're easy to tame, they're curious creatures, they like to interact with their owners, and they can last a very long time which means it'll be a companion for many parts of your life. To further prove how friendly these boas can be, a man named Daniel turned one into a service and therapy animal. How so? Well, Daniel had seizures, and to help warn him of when a seizure is coming, Red Rock will sense it and then hug Daniel. So in a way, this snake is an early warning signal which makes it a very useful service animal. Granted, not everyone should try and get a snake as a service animal, but this proves it can work and that boa constrictors aren't as terrifying as you might expect. Number 6. Rosy Boa The rosy boa is a special subspecies of boa that is native to the United States and Mexico. What sets this one apart from other snakes, though, is its hide-first mentality. How so? This boa loves to go and hide under rocks or sink into crevices in order to stay out of sight and out of mind. Rarely, if ever, will you find one in a place that isn't covered with rocks for it to hide under. What's more, if it was ever to feel threatened, it'll either release a smell from its tail to ward off the being coming to it, or it'll compact itself into a ball. It doesn't lash out like most snakes, which is a major reason why people are more than willing to have it as a pet. 
Its generally docile temperament and small size make the rosy boa an ideal choice for a pet snake due to its easy care and small enclosure size. It is frequently captivity bred and readily feeds on commercially available mice. Weirdly enough though, despite being an ideal choice pet, the rosy boa isn't one that is in high demand due to other snakes dominating the market, which in many cases makes this one all the more special because not too many people are gonna have one. Number five, garter snakes. Garter snakes are no doubt a species of serpent that we all know about, but what might have been told could be misleading. For example, yes, garter snakes do have venom inside of them at times. However, their venom is not meant for humans. And in the worst case, which is very rare in number, you'll get some swelling and bruising from a bite. Garter snakes are also creatures that rarely ever bite when they feel threatened. They'd rather just get their head underground and flail their tail in a way that is meant to ward off predators. And when they do see a predator, their first instinct is to full-on flee. The reason they're actually rather friendly is that they've been known to not just be great pets, but have been documented as getting more and more friendly with their owners the more they're handled. Plus, the wide variety of garter snakes have many interesting color palettes. So not only will you have a friendly snake, but also potentially a beautiful one as a pet. Number 4. California King Snake With a name like King Snake, you would think that this particular snake would be one to avoid. And that would be true if you were on its dinner menu. The California King Snake is known to go after things like lizards, rodents, and even be able to kill rattlesnakes due to its resistance to its venom. But when it comes to humans, not so much. They won't bite most of the time and they're known to be good pets. The California King Snake is one of the most popular pet reptiles due to its ease of care, attractive appearance, and docile demeanor. Due to natural color and pattern variability between individual snakes, snake enthusiasts have selectively bred for a variety of color patterns and morphs. Dozens of color variations are sold in the pet trade. To be clear here, you can get bitten by a king snake, and they are known to be a little more active than other snakes that make good pets, but they're also ones who adapt to trust their owners. Number 3. Water Snakes The idea of a water snake, a true water snake that literally lives underwater most of its life, is rather terrifying in concept, and most of you would fear swimming in a place and then having something like this snake looking at you. The problem here is that most water snakes get a bad rap because they're incorrectly identified as things like water moccasins, which are indeed very venomous and should be avoided at all costs. What's more, the notion of snakes living in water or gliding on the surface is enough to send shivers down the spines of many, including me. But to those who have taken in the water snakes, of which there are many kinds, they've found that they're not only easy to care for, but they can be quite fun once you get to bond with them. This includes just spending time with them for a few minutes in a day so you can get the snake to remember you. However, there is a caution. You shouldn't go into the wild to find one. Go to a pet store, it's safer that way. Number two, ball python. Without a doubt, the ball python is one of the most beloved and bred pet snakes in the world, which is quite interesting to some people because they look at the size and heft of the ball pythons at times and wonder how they can be such good pets. The honest answer is because they're more defensive and cautious than aggressive and attack prone. Their name derives from the fact that when threatened, they'll coil up into a ball one that can truly be rolled around if you're able to touch it. They're known to be docile as pets and are more than willing to let humans pet them, which again does make them wonderful pets. Pythons in general are well-mannered towards humans, but the ball python is the best. Number one, green tree python. When it comes to the green tree python, the snake is known for having a certain beauty to it. This snake has a luscious shade of green skin, and when you mix it with those yellow eyes, it's truly something to behold. Add to that, the scales on its skin make it look like there's multiple shades of green going on, which is a nice illusion that separates it from the pack. Not surprisingly, the green tree python lives in rainforests, and it likes to climb trees and live in them for most of its life. What they'll do is they'll go to a branch, then start wrapping their body around it. Then the head will be brought back up and rest in the middle of the coiled body. They use their pose to their advantage, as they'll rest on the branches and wait for prey and once they can get behind it, it'll strike. But of course, to a person, the idea of going through a rainforest and seeing a snake in a tree looking at you would be rather terrifying. Except that these snakes don't attack humans. And what's more, after they get over the scare factor, many people go and adopt these pythons because they really do make good pets. 
In fact, they're so beloved that there's a massive illegal market for them, which is why many are trying to stop these trades so the python doesn't become endangered. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these snakes? Does this help put you at ease in regards to snakes as a whole, or are you still a little scared of them and don't want to touch them at all? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.